Hey guys, what is up? Today, we're in my mommy's room. Yes, we're in her room. She's lying over here being lazy. She just got off work. Anyway, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. Look guys, it's almost empty. It's like the last few things that is in here. Um, but anyways, let me quit blabbering on. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Brittany and I'm the greatest person on here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not really, but... Today, we are actually going to, I've seen Nikki Tutorials do this, so I do want to credit her for that. Um, we're going to do like a spray painted effect, kind of, I guess is what you would call it. I'm going to do like this much of my face through here, makeup, and then the rest we're going to do white and look like animated. So, without further ado, you guys already know I'm going to prime my face with the, I keep forgetting my camera's this way now, um, the e.l.f. putty primer, and then... I will be back. Alright guys, now I'm going in with my, I keep, I'm not used to it being on this side, the Makeup Revolution Base Stick. We are not doing the home things. We are going to go like this. Make sure my hair is pulled back. I've been doing this right guys, I don't know. I think I've done this right. Okay. Now I'm just going to blend that out just in that area. Do not blend it all over your face. Just in that area. Okay, guys, I didn't, as you can see, I only took it to about right here, around, down the side of my nose, and like this. Now, for concealer, I am going to take the e.l.f. 16-hour camo and conceal my eyes. Guys, I actually went in maybe a little too heavy with the foundation, so be careful with that. And just blend it out like you normally would. Do not go over your line that you've started. And, yes, guys, I am going to be setting my under eye with my Maybelline Fit Me. And the rest with my Cody Airspun. Just this. So, so you know. Guys, now I'm taking my Profusion Contouring Palette. Guys, I love this palette. It's amazing. We're going to contour just right through it here and a little bit on it. Like, just this is, make sure you stay in your area where you put your foundation. Gosh, I can't talk today. <laughs> I'm going to take my Wet n Wild um, contour brush and I'm just going to carve out on some cheekies. I don't know why I'm talking like that. No clue. Now, remember, you're not doing your whole back there. You're staying right through here. You're just doing a little bit. And just a little bit right through there. Not too much. Okay, guys, I'm moving on to the eye now, and I am taking my electric palette by Urban Decay because the more colorful, the more better. And I did just put, I cut out like a rounded tape. Like I cut out around the part of it. I'm taking the NYX primer and I'm going to prime my eyes lightly with this. And then I'm going to take the 16 hour camo and go over it lightly. Okay guys, I'm going to first go into the Profusion Pro Pigment Palette. And I'm going to grab the shade called Pop, which is this one. Whew, this one right here. And I'm just going to lightly, I took like a really light pale brown and um... Put down first over top of that concealer. And I'm lightly, 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 lightly laying that color pop. Not color pop like the brand, it's the color name of the shade. And um, down lightly. Guys, always start out with a little bit and then work up the intensity because you can always add more, but you can't take it away unless you want to wipe it off and start over. And we're not trying to do that. 
and small circular motions light handedly. Don't go in there like I used to do that. And girl, I always wonder why my shadows didn't blend. Well, that would be why. Lightly just blend that up towards your brow bone. Not all the way up, but close to it. And we are just going to be doing this one eye with shadows. So, so you know. Alright, now that I laid that down, I am going to go back over into the... I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking. Okay, I am going to go back over into the, um, yeah, Brittany Think Urban Decay Palette. And I'm going to take the brush that came with the palette and this end right here, and I'm going to take the pink right here in the shade Savage and start stamping it through lightly. And then blend that out. Guys, I am taking this purple, the darkest one right here, and I am just stamping that on my outer V, guys. And all I did was just blend that through. We are going to be using more colors. Guys, I am taking the orange right here and just laying it right beside, right through here, and just blending those two together. Not together, just the edges together. Okay, guys, time to cut half the crease. I am using my 16-hour um, camo concealer. I am using my Beauty School Dropout Angle Cut Crease Brush um, by NYX. So, let's get into doing that. Do that really quick. Cut it to about right there. Okay, guys, now I'm going to take a shade pop and just lightly lay it through here. And then I'm going to go into the shade um frosting and lay it all the way over here and then i'm going to take out of the urban decay palette i'm going to take the color chads i think i'm saying that right the blue and i'm going to i'll show you guys i'm going to lightly lightly buff it lightly and on the bottom of the lash line and for the inner corner i'm just going to put a little bit of this green Wow. Okay. Yep, just busted it. All of it? Nope, the blue that I was just about to use. What happened? Why did it stop? Sorry guys, I had a mishap. You guys seen everything fall? Yes, girl, it happened. Guys, I am taking this infallible liner in purple and the Urban Decay in like a light blue. And I am going to run those on my bottom lash lines. And I'm going to put black on the top. I am using a Better Than Sex Mascara. Guys, I am taking the Strobing Highlighter by LA Color. And we are going to highlight... Hopefully I can get this done before my phone dies. Let's hope. One second. Guys, I am taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm going to set what we've done. And I'm going to take my highlighter and I'm going to highlight. Guys, now you know how I like to do that. Got a piece of hair. Okay. Guys, this just makes your highlighter like beam to the sun. Because you guys know I like them. Let me show you. You see that? Like, beaming, girl. Beaming! And I am going to go ahead and highlight my nose. Because I just am. And my chin. Because this is supposed to be glam. Now, 
Now we're going into uh, the lipstick. Which is about <clears throat> Impressions. It's their velvet and shade Imperial. It's orange. Go ahead and put that on there. Guys, I'm going to block off this brow. Now, let me tell you how to do this. You can use an Elmer glue stick is what you're supposed to use. I don't have that here. I'm not sure if my mom has any or not. I'm not 100% sure. But I am using a glitter glue. And I am just taking a few layers. Putting it over your eyebrow hair. It is not going to hurt you. So don't worry about that. Um, let it dry. Do a couple more layers. Let it dry. And then we'll go back over it. Go over it with the concealer. Tap it out like you would be blended out on your face. Do it with the same thing with your foundation. Do not go all over your face with it, though. And then set it with a powder. Okay, guys, now I'm going in with a cream, like a face paint. Like it's a cream white paint. And I'm taking a fluffy brush. So I think it's good to have those edges in first. Now well, I'm making sure I'm watching her. Make sure I'm doing it right. Um, but we are going to go in like a fluffy brush like this. And I'm just going to go around the perimeter, not over top of it, around the perimeter, just kind of patting where I put down the actual glam makeup at. Because I just want to show you what I meant. And I am going to be setting this with a white eyeshadow. So all like that, all the way around the perimeter where you put your makeup. Guys, I am taking a brush like this and just kind of covering my whole face with that. Not my whole face, just like the perimeter that we made. Okay, guys, now that we done did all this, I did take it down my neck about halfway, guys. I did my best. This is my first time doing this. So... Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to set this with white eyeshadow. Okay, guys. So, this is the done look. This is supposed to be like the pop art look. Remind you guys, I've never done this before. So, if it don't look the greatest, I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah. It's supposed to be like a spray painted kind of look. Let me know what you think. Would you do this to yourself? Would you wear it? Do you like this video? Um, I can take you guys in another room. Give me just one second. Okay, guys, this is the look in another room. Wow, it looks really cool. Um, all I did was take a black, like, um, Sharpie kind of eyeliner or just an eyeliner and carve out the brows, guys. I didn't do the best on that, but um, you were supposed to put a line going from, like, here and swooping up. I started to do that, and I changed my mind, and it's like, no, I don't want to mess it up. Um, one of my eyes, I carved out just on the side of my lips that have no color. My chin, I brought a line all the way down my jawbone. Um, so yes, guys, let me know if you like this, if you think it looks cool. Um, if you would do it, let me know what you think. Um, I did have fun doing this for you guys. So I do hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one.